how can limit exist as we approach infinity? I'm Anil Kumar and in this video, I like to answer this question. Let's take a few examples. Let us say limit of function uh, 2 to the power of x as x approaches infinity. That is one example. Um, or we'll take the same function, limit of function 2 to the power of x as x approaches minus infinity. Let us explore this function and try to figure out whether a limit exists or not. And why does it exist? We'll also consider a function which could be 1 over x, right? Now we'll see what happens to its limit as x approaches infinity and limit of the same function 1 over x as x approaches minus infinity. Okay, and we'll take one more function and that is an exercise for you. As x approaches, let's take value of 1 here and I'll write a function here as x plus 1 and x minus 1. Well, we were trying to figure out uh, as x approaches infinity, so I'll make it infinity. Okay, as x approaches infinity and limit of a similar function when x approaches minus infinity. This time, let me write a function like 2x minus 3 divided by 5x. Okay, that's good enough. So we'll consider these functions and figure out whether the limit exists at infinity or not. And the reason we'll try to find out why will it exist. Now 2 to the power of x. Let me sketch this function. That will give us a better idea. So if we sketch 2 to the power of x, we find that the function is kind of like this. Now from the graph, as x approaches infinity, that means positive infinity, this is x, then f of x approaches infinity, right? So the function as x approaches infinity approaches infinity. That is the value of the function, right? And so in this case, we say that the limit does not exist because infinity is not a valid number. And therefore, we say when x is approaching infinity, the limit does not exist. Now, let's look into the other case, which is the same function, 2 to the power of x. What happens when x approaches negative infinity? As we see here, as x is approaching negative infinity, the function approaches 0. So, this approaches 0, and therefore, we say that the limit of this function is equal to 0. Right? Why does this happen? Well, it is important to understand that when we are talking about limit of a function, then we don't have to be there at that point. We are just approaching that value. As x approaches minus infinity, you don't have to be at infinity, right? You have to be approaching a very large negative value. That is what it means. So if x is a very large negative value, then what do you expect? You expect the value of the function to be almost zero, right? So as x approaches minus infinity, we see that the value approaches zero. You also find we are approaching a value, right? And so we can say that in this case, we have a horizontal asymptote, right? And horizontal asymptote is y equals to zero, the value which function approaches. Well, let's take example number two, in which case we will consider one over x, the reciprocal function. Now in reciprocal function, you know, it is kind of like this. From the graph, it is very clear that as x approaches positive infinity, the value of the function approaches 0. So this limit is equal to 0. As x approaches negative infinity, this value is also 0. 
and you also notice that it has a horizontal asymptote right and the equation of horizontal asymptote is what horizontal asymptote is y equals to zero so that gives you an idea that if the limit exists as the function is approaching positive or negative infinity that means there is a horizontal asymptote and the value of limit is same as equation of horizontal asymptote so that is a correlation correct now let's look into the last example this one I'll do for you as x approaches infinity what happens to this kind of function now this time I'm not drawing a graph for this but I will explain algebraically okay so so let me take okay let me take the last one and to make it similar what I will do is I'll add some number here and algebraically I'll solve the limit for the last question which is 2x minus 3 divided by 5x plus 3 as x approaches minus infinity what happens okay to solve this so we are solving this equation what we can do is we can actually divide both numerator and denominator by x 2x minus 3 if I divide both by x so what I'm doing here is I am dividing both by x then what do I get in the numerator I get 2x divided by x let me write first 2x divided by x minus 3 divided by x in the denominator I get 5x divided by x plus 1 divided by x now when I say that x is a very very large value maybe negative in that case what happens now first we can simplify it x gets cancelled right right we actually had to write x here I wrote 5 hmm, my mistake we are dividing by x right so these x's cancel and therefore what I can write this as I can write this as limit as x approaches minus infinity and the function for me is 2 minus 3 over x divided by 5 plus 1 over x okay now if x is a very large number let's say minus thousand then one divided by minus thousand is going to be negligible almost point zero zero one right which is very small so I can approximately write this as what I can write this as limit x approaches minus infinity 2 over 5 2 over 5 since 3 over x and 1 over x will be approaching 0 right when x is approaching infinity a large number 3 over x will be 0 1 over x will be 0 so I'm left with 2 over 5 you get it so limit of a constant will be a constant and so we get our answer so the limit for this function is 2 over 5 now if you really sketch this function you will get horizontal asymptote in this function also and the horizontal asymptote will be y equals to 2 over 5 since that is the value the function is approaching when x is approaching negative infinity if you calculate for positive infinity then also you will get the same answer right so that is how it is so what we see here is that there are functions in which limit exists when x is approaching positive or negative infinity and it is correlated with horizontal asymptote equation of horizontal asymptote is the value of the limit as the function approaches positive or negative infinity I hope that helps to correlate the two now let's move forward and then calculate limits of few functions thank you and all the best